Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about products filter by price. So let's see how can we filter products by price. Okay, so for that, I'll go to the shop controller. So just go inside the ad directory, HTTP controllers, and let's open the shop controller. And inside the index method, uh, let's create here two variables. Okay, so right here dollar first variable for minimum price so minimum uh, just write here the mean underscore price is equal to uh, let's the mean price value from the query string so just write here a request arrow query and inside this just pass here the e mean okay and uh, uh, use here the ternary operator so first check the mean value if value available then pass here the value mean value okay otherwise set here the default default value which is one okay uh, now let's copy this and add here for max price so change here the variable name max price and also change the key max okay and set here the max uh, value uh, let's say max value is 500 okay And now let's uh, return this mean pr uh, price and max price to the view. So inside the compact method, just pass here mean price and then max price. Okay. And now inside this uh, this query, uh, let's add here. A where condition so after this I'm just going to add here the where okay uh, where and inside this where just pass here the callback function function and pass the query as an argument and use uh, this variable mean price and max price so right here use and inside this just pass here mean underscore price comma max underscore price okay and then add here the curly bracket and close the curly bracket and now inside this add uh, use here the where between and or where between condition with the query okay so right here query arrow where between where between and pass here the column name regular price regular underscore price and inside the big packet just pass here the first mean price comma max price okay and now add or where between sale price okay mean price and max price now save this uh, showing an error where okay just remove this comma okay now save this And now go to the shop view so go to the resources directory and views open the shop.php file and let's find this price filter okay so here is the size filter this is the brands filter and you can see here the price filter okay And now inside this, inside the mean price, uh, let's add here the one dollar and max price, just add here the uh, 500, okay. And now here 
inside the data slider value just to display here uh, double curly bracket dollar mean underscore price and here max price okay so right here double uh, dollar max underscore price okay and uh, data slider max uh, just set here the 500 okay and data slider mean is equal to 1 now save this and now inside the filter form let's add here uh, two hidden fields so right here and put type is equal to hidden and name is equal to mean and uh, set the id here hdn hdn mean price and uh, also assign the value so right here dollar mean underscore price okay now close this and one more hidden field here input type is equal to hidden Type is equal to hidden and uh, name is equal to max. Okay, and ID HDN max price and assign the value here double quote, double curly bracket, dollar max price. Okay, and now let's close this hidden part and now inside the function. Uh, let's add here or event bind the event here so right here dollar um, big packet name is equal to uh, what is the name so let's find the name okay price filter this one price range okay so right here name is equal to price range and bind the change event so right here on change at the callback function and inside this um, let's create here two variable first mean is equal to Let's uh, add here the default value 1 and where max is equal to 500. Okay, and now uh, on change event. I'll just assign the value from the uh, price range slider okay so right here dollar this dollar this dot val and uh, just uh, split the value by comma okay so first part is the minimum value so just access the zero index and now let's copy this and paste here and let's, let's access the second index which is the max price okay and then add this comma in single quote okay this is the separator and now put this min value and max value to the hidden field so write this one uh, dollar this one this id Okay, ID of this hidden field. Each uh, dot val is val, and inside this val, just pass here the mean value. Similarly, dollar at the rate 
HDN max price dot well and inside this is no well just pass here the max max price okay and then uh, just submit the form so let's copy this and paste here okay add your the semicolon now save this okay now it's done so let's check so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and you can see here the mean value is one dollar and max value is the 500 now uh, in this price range you can see here the, all the products now let's decrease the price range so i'm just going to put this okay it's immediately triggered so let's add here some delay so inside this soft view file uh, just add here set here some interval so set timeout and uh, add the timeout let's uh, two second okay two thousand millisecond and now just cut this event uh, submit event and paste here okay and now save this now refresh the page okay now let's change the price range so i'm just going to put this one it is six dollar and uh, okay let's fix to one and uh, 500 max value okay let's check the code again move add this one mix and man main price and max price Okay, inspect the event here. Console. And let's change the value. Okay. Now let's uh, console the value of the min and max. Okay, so I'm just going to print here console dot log and just uh, display here the min value and then console.log display the max value okay and for time being i'm just going to comment this control c okay and now refresh the page okay now let's change the value okay it's working minimum one and uh, max value is 186 okay here is the mistake i am just missing this hash sign okay so now just remove this console dot log okay and uncomment this line now save this and refresh the page okay now go to the soft page now change the max price value okay and set to the 91 okay and this time you can see here the one product between this price range okay if i increase the uh, range so 161 one product 231 it's showing the two product okay and if i increase the range you can see here all the product 
okay so in this way you can filter the products by price so that's all about filter the products by price so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching